Hello, everyone. I'm Kristen. And I'm Rachel. And this is So I'm Watching, A Discovery of Witches, Season 3, Episode 4. Woo! <laughs> I like that we did that in tandem. <laughs> Woo! So lots of stuff happened in this episode. Mm-hmm. Um, Diana had the babies. Um, Galaglass admitted his unrequited love and then just dipped. Uh, they found the third page of the book. Peter Knox is going super crazy. Uh. And he killed that demon. Um, and we've got Agatha back in the mix. Mm-hmm, which so, I'm glad about. I really yeah. like her. Sarah was um, remarkably restrained in this episode, which was nice Blessedly. as well. Yeah. Yeah, it was mostly I, like mostly just great. Uh, there was even Satu went to a vampire party with mm-hmm. Domenico. Um, and she brought up the prophecy with him when she was like, well, you know, it doesn't have to be her. It could also be me. Right. And we, I think, are the only ones that know they're both weavers. Uh, that We, the audience. Uh, I believe that is correct. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think anyone else knows their weavers. So, um, yeah, that was interesting. I like that. Um, ooh, and Miriam discovered that the blood rage is something that is like a holdover from the human DNA. Yes. So it's like something, it's like a, an uncoded portion of human DNA that like reacts badly to the vampire transformation. Fascinating. That is very, very fascinating. Yeah. I like the sciencey stuff. I wish yeah. we got a little bit more of it because that is yeah. actually really fascinating. You know what I want is just because I'm that type of person and I'm a, I'm like a fan fiction person. And I'm a romance person. I just want everybody paired up. So I want Gallo Glass to stop having a fit, hook up with Fernando, and then I want Miriam and Christopher to hook up. Yeah, <laughs> I just yep. want everyone to be happy. <laughs> um, everyone kiss. <laughs> yeah, everyone kiss. Evidently, sometime off screen, Matthew had sent back, back blood samples from the vampires in New Orleans, which where he still is. I would really like for someone to very blatantly be like, we've been here for three months yeah. or anything like mm-hmm. that. Just because I have no concept of is how long. I mean, we know that this season so far has been roughly eight months. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, even still, I feel like the seasons haven't changed that much. No. So... I just need to know if this is like a magical pregnancy. So like the gestation period is only like three months or something. Also, yes, because if it has been actually like, I guess nah, she had to have been if he could hear the heartbeat, she has to have been. What is that? Like eight weeks, something like that. So like two months pregnant at the beginning and yeah. twins usually come early. So at most, it could have been like six months total yeah Th- this season okay. yeah six months total yeah that would make that would make sense yeah i don't know i just have no concept but, of how long any of this yeah. is taking except <laughs> we just know that we have no time no we time. are running out of time and also i don't know the relative sensitivity of matthew's vampire ears to like a 2021 human ultrasound machine so i don't know if he can sense it earlier or later yeah all that stuff's really interesting they basically they're still doing something in new orleans why were they even still there just like solidifying yeah like the scions getting to know each other okay so where is gallo glass going now that they finally got this fucking scion going i have no fucking idea and i i said this to you when we're watching it but that whole storyline feels very thrust upon us the gallo glass thing yeah because it's just like Okay, so you had to wait centuries for me. And then she was like, oh, but thank you for telling me. And it's like that. What? How? I feel like if I told someone that and they're like, oh, my God, you love me. I'd be like, whoa, that is a jump that you were making. ma'am." Also, how about this? You are probably over a thousand years old, we would imagine. Mm -hmm. Gallo Glass, roughly, let's say roughly one thousand years old, uh, give or take. How have you not learned how to just bury your unrequited love? Like, <laughs> just don't talk about it. Yeah. Just be quiet. Sometimes you can be quiet. And, like, there's no reason for him to tell her. No. It's so weird. I don't get it. I love Stephen Cree. I wish he Same. were going to keep being on the show, but it feels like no. <laughs> yeah, and you were like, why are you leaving now when she is in the most amount of danger? We've got okay. fucking Peter Knox out here yeah. just completely unleashed just and unhinged. Wasting people. I'm so confused how they were just like, you're out of here. Bye. And like not think that there are no going to be punishment. any repercussions from yeah. him going off. Absolutely like, not. With a chip on his shoulder, they should have, like, either put him in prison or taken his power away. Bound, bound take, him. take his little fidget spinner away. Yeah. Like, this is, it's, 
silly. This is silly and ridiculous. Because Diana and Emily go to her, uh, like, the descendants of her old coven from the 1600s. And they basically are like, we need to find this demon, the one that has the third page. And so they do this whole spell. And then Diana apparently warns the witches that Peter Knox is probably going to also come looking for the same information. And you were like, why didn't she like leave a different scent or like do a different spell or like cover it over with something? Wards are are, are the or wards not a thing that happens in this universe? Because I, I feel no like idea. in every witch lore, wards are like a thing. Yeah. Harry Potter, hello. Yeah. I don't I don't understand. And then the fact that like the nice old lady witch who's like setting up the chairs yeah. for like their weekly coven night or whatever. And she's like trying to menace this man <laughs> who was on a congregation. It's just like, this is, what are we doing, guys? Yeah, I don't know. It's really, really silly that they wouldn't do more like protective stuff. Oh, we don't know if she died. I don't, I mean, he's, he's, he threw like, her slammed out. her into a room like and locked the doors. So I, like, I assume she's fine. But then he found the information to go get the demon and he killed the demon who was so nice and so sad and just wanted the, he literally wanted the piece of the page of the book because it was made from the skin of his ancestors and it's all he has left of his family. Mm -hmm. That's horrible. I can't imagine. Yeah. And so then he killed him and Agatha had to find the body. And he obviously did some kind of spell because he was wrapped in a circle of salt. Yeah. With And so it's just like, you guys, you yeah. know what's going on. He knows that you were hunting the pages of the book. Yeah. It's just you all are leaving so many loose ends and just like open <laughs> doors. Diana's just walking around holding it out in the air. I know. You were like, <laughs> put that in your bag. And I'm like, yeah. And I mean, don't maybe don't fold it. But do you like, not have put it like, in there. Do you not have a warded file of facts that you're just carrying around? Come on. It's that's like. So I'm getting to the point that I got with the books where I was like, I was like finishing it out of fury yeah. where I was just like, well, I have to finish it. Um, and I'm enjoying it more than that because I like a lot of the actors yeah. and like I'm I'm like having a good time watching. But I still am just like, you're not making good decisions. You're like making incorrect decisions. What feels like every step of the way. Mm -hmm. And so whatever. Diana goes into labor. They get back to the house. Matthew and Marcus teleport across the world and make it there just in time. And I guess well, Marcus delivers the babies. Yeah, I think the that doctor. they probably were already back in England by the looks of those trees when oh, Matthew had that conversation Baldwin. with Baldwin. Okay, okay. So then they could have just been like pew, right okay. across to their Chelsea neighborhood. Fair enough. Um, so yeah, um, they have the babies. It's a boy and a girl. Philip and Rebecca mm -hmm. is what they're naming them. Everybody's pretty psyched about it, except Gallo Glass, who uh, just cho fucking cho right off chooses literally the moment of birth to leave. And I, that's what I don't understand because she is weakened from having the baby. There, she's already. They're already all sort of like doing crimes essentially. Yeah. And Peter Knox is out there. It's all of these mounting things. And it's like, so now that she's weakened and there are two infants, now it's time to go. I told, I said my piece, it's time to go. Well, he made a comment that Matthew will never leave her again. And mm -hmm. I'm like, that's simply just not the case yeah. because if he has a faction uh, or like at the Scion thing in New Orleans, he's probably going to have to go and do some things there. So I think the point of the, going to New Orleans to get the Scion is so that they will come to England to help, uh, like, or, like, Europe to help, because everything still is happening, like, around Venice. True. So it's, like, okay. I think I think that was more just, like, shoring up support. Like, sure. we have this, like, second wave if we need it. Mm -hmm. But regardless, um, yeah, I mean, that is, like, mostly it. I'm I'm frustrated, but it's, it's fine. The spell was cool. The spell did. was cool. Well, she was doing a weaving at the beginning, and that was really neat. I liked that quite a lot. And then, yes, the spell that she did with the coven was very cool. A lot like little salts everywhere. And then she had written TJ Hudson or something. Weston. Weston. And then that salt turned red and like then made like a 3D image of the city where like where he was in the city. It was very cool. Mm -hmm. the, the witchcraft and like the effects and stuff or I'm like without I don't have any issues with that at yeah. all. Yeah. And I'm really glad that Sarah seemed to be game because yeah. I was fully prepared for her to be like, you can't do a locator spell. Yeah. Or whatever. But she was down to clown and was like totally chill with yeah. participating in the spell work. So really, really glad for that. She also didn't even really kick up too much of a fuss when Diana like left the demon's house and was like, Don't worry, we won't do any magic. Mm -hmm. See you later. Bye. And she, she said like Diana, but she didn't like Keep pushing it. Yeah. And then they went to go get Agatha to try to talk to the guy, TJ. 
Timothy. Yes. I kept saying Timothy. Um, yeah. So mostly good. Frustrating, but mostly good. Yep. <laughs> We're going to keep going, though. So we will go watch episode five and we will be back uh, with that next week. All right. Bye. Bye.